In this video, I'll show you how to map great circle routes in ArcMap. For almost all map projections, the shortest path between two places on the Earth's surface is represented by a curve rather than a straight line. For instance, if we were to draw a straight line between New York and Beijing, it would follow a line of constant bearing on this Poincaré map projection, but it would not be the shortest way of navigating between the two points if we were flying in an airplane. To draw the shortest path between two points, or what's known as a great circle route, you need to use a projection such as the azimuthal equidistant, where any line drawn through the center of the projection represents a great circle route. So let's make a custom azimuthal equidistant projection that's centered on New York. So first we need to know the geographic position of New York, and since we're in this plat carré projection and it's telling us uh, decimal degrees for our, the position of our cursor down in the bottom right hand corner, we can just zoom in on New York City and then position our cursor over it and write down the longitude and latitude that are down here in the bottom right hand corner. So I've done that already. I'll zoom back out. Now we need to make a new data frame to hold our custom projection. So I'm going to go up to insert and say data frame. And then in this new data frame I'm going to right click and go to properties. And under coordinate system I'm going to look for a predefined projected coordinate system for the world. And azimuth equidistant is right up here near the top. So this azimuth equidistant has a central meridian of zero, which is uh, the Greenwich mean line, and a latitude of origin at zero, which is the equator. And we want to change that so that it's positioned right on New York City. So I'm going to modify that projection and come over here to central meridian and change that to negative 73.913 degrees, and then the latitude of 40.706. And I'll hit OK and OK again. And now when I bring my countries and my cities into that new data frame, you'll see that the dot of New York is centered right in the middle of that map projection and all the countries are around it. So any line that we draw now between New York and anywhere else in the globe will, re will represent a great circle route between New York and that place. So now we need to have a new feature class that we can draw that great circle route in. I'm going to come over to the catalog and in the, my working folder I'll right click and come to new and then say shape file and I'll call this route and make a new polyline shape file and we need to give it that same spatial reference as the data frame that we're working in. So I'm going to hit edit here under the spatial reference and I'll hit select and go through that same process of a projected coordinate system, world, azimuthal equidistant, we'll add that, and then we're going to modify that so that it has that same central meridian and latitude of origin. So the central meridian is negative 73.913, and latitude of origin is 40.706. Okay, okay. Excellent. So now our new root feature class has that same projection. And now we can start editing that using the editing toolbar. So I'm going to right click up here in the toolbar space and get the editor toolbar. And if we start editing, we'll select root as the feature class that we want to edit. Hit OK. It's telling us that the spatial reference does not match up with these other layers that are in our data frame. That's OK. We're not editing them, so I'm not going to worry about that. Hit continue. And then we can select our root and construction tool line, and we just want to draw a line between New York and Beijing. If your snapping isn't already turned on, you might want to come and right click in the toolbar space and turn on snapping by opening the snapping toolbar and just make sure that this point snapping feature is turned on. So if I zoom in here on New York, I should just be able to snap one end of that line to New York, and then I'm going to pan over to Beijing and snap the other end, I'm going to double click on Beijing to end drawing my line. And you can see that this great circle route actually takes us over Canada and over the pole across Russia and down into Beijing. So that's a very different line than we would have gotten if we'd drawn a straight line between those two cities on the Poincaré projection. So the other thing we need to do is because ArcMap has just stored this line as two endpoints and is just drawing on the coordinate system that we're in the shortest distance between those. We actually need to break this into many different lines so that it will approximate the curve of that great circle route when we take it into a new coordinate system. Right now if we were to move this line into back into that Poincaré coordinate system it wouldn't show us the great circle route, it would just draw a straight line between those two vertices that we've specified. 
So with this line selected, if it's not already selected, you can grab this selection tool right here, the edit tool, and select the line, but I've already got mine selected. I can come to this editor drop down and select the split tool. And I want to split this into equal parts, and the greatest number of equal parts you're allowed to split it into is 99. So I'm just going to choose that and hit OK, and you can see this little green dot working away as it splits that line into 99 little segments. And when we move this into a new coordinate system, it will actually look like a curve rather than 99 separate lines because those lines are going to be so small relative to the size of our map. So now that that's done, I'm going to come back up to Editor and stop editing, and I'll ask it to save my edits as I'm stopping my edits. And now I can come back and bring that root feature class into my original data frame. I'll drop it in there and right-click on that data frame and activate it. Now you can see that curve that's going from New York over to Beijing it might be more impressive and easier to interpret if we look at this with a different coordinate system. So let's right click on that data frame and go to properties. And then under predefined and projected coordinate systems and world, there's a coordinate system in here called the Earth from space. Or the world from space, there we are. And if we select that and then hit apply, we do want to use this coordinate system even though it's not the same one as our map layers are projected in. We'll hit OK. And you can see this looks like we're looking at the world from space, perhaps from the space shuttle with this perspective view. We want to rotate this a little bit so we can see the whole line in both cities. So we'll modify that projection and then ask the longitude of center to perhaps be, let's say negative 180. Let's see what that does. Okay, and apply. And this should rotate the world a bit so we can see that whole line. And there's our curved line that goes from New York over the pole to Beijing. You could use a variety of different projections and play with which one best seems to sort of represent the curvature of that line. But that's how you make a great circle route uh, and then break it into sections so that it can be viewed on different projections and then apply it to a new projection.